So all set to go here for the British and vacant WBO Intercontinental Welterweight Championships. It's the British title is the one that really matters here, Ladies though. Ladies and gentlemen, the Welterweight Championship of Great Britain and vacant Intercontinental McCreesh title. McCreesh in the blue trunks, won 17 and lost four. Two of them by disqualification, but on a good roll at the moment. Ryan, whose only two defeats have been in the first round, a puncher reckoned to have a brittle chin. Will McCreesh find that out? But Ryan can hit himself and is always dangerous and says that he's much stronger at welterweight than he was at light welterweight. Fascinatingly poised. Yes, it really is a very, very good matchup. Both very determined fighters. Speaking to Ryan, he said he felt much better, had the extra weight, felt very, very confident that he could do the job inside the distance. Ryan's entire career on the line here. He's caught by a right hand, seemed to take it okay. And switching styles, not to much use though, because it left him open to another right. Good start by McCreesh, who looks sharp. How will he handle Ryan's power? McCreesh is not known as a big concussive puncher, but he's a pretty solid one. Stopped Kevin Lushing in 10 rounds, overcame eye damage to do it, and was absolutely inspired on that occasion. And that was a very, very impressive result. He looked very good in that fight. But he had such an intensity and a determination. Can he carry that through? Can he carry that on in this fight? This will be really the acid test of Ryan's punch resistance. He caught with another right hand there from McCreesh. One or two alarming signs for Ryan early on here. Yes, the legs just seem to dip there with that long right hand from McCreesh. Take it out. And McCreesh's hand speed is troubling Ryan as well. Good right hand, but Ryan takes the punch. He takes it, but noticeably the chin started to come up in the air, and really that's what Ryan has not to do. He's got to keep that chin tucked down on his chest. Ryan says he will call it a day if he's beaten here. Don't know if he means that. But that's what he said in the interview prior to the fight. Another right hand again. His knees seem to buckle. This is all McCreesh, really, this opening round. He just has to be careful. He doesn't leave himself open for a counter. McCreesh is starting sharp. The jab's going out nice and quick. He's keeping himself nicely covered up. in this opening round. We wondered whether he could hit the same pitch of intensity as he did on that night at Wembley Arena. Answer looks to be yes. Sky Sports have been for British titles. I wonder if this is going to be another of them, Glenn. Well, McCree started very well, getting his punches off, his nice sharp jabs, and he won very good right hand. But he really started well. There he's got Ryan all at sea there. And a couple of times the legs did seem to buckle up Paul Ryan. Another right hand, and again, Ryan's knees just seem to bend. These are bad moments for Paul Ryan early on. This is really the big test of whether he is a proper full-blown welterweight. The three wins he's had so far since moving up have not been against anything like top-class opposition. This is better from Ryan. At least he's thrown a few punches there. But he looks open to punches in the right hand. Only the ropes kept him up there. He would have been on the floor but for that. And the 
Creech is piling in the punches and Ryan might do well to get through this round. He is in trouble. Big, big trouble. And Larry O'Connell may step in here. Only those ropes are keeping Ryan up. I'm sure he will have been on the floor and again there, but for the ropes. McCreech looks close to forcing a stoppage and defending this title. Ryan is all over the place. He's cut by the right eye as well. It's going to be stopped. Left jab, then a right. And Paul, Paul, scrap iron Ryan sees his welterweight dream disappear. Jeff McCreech did the job emphatically in round two. He's still the British welterweight champion. And look at his dad. Well, a very good, sharp performance from Jeff McCreech. Did everything right. He kept behind his jab so well. That was sharp. He got his big punches going and he got Ryan. The legs went completely and really there was a few times it looked like the referee could stop the fight. It was only the ropes that were really keeping him up. He would have went over heavily, I thought, if the ropes hadn't been there. But he had to take several punches, Ryan. But that was a very good, very good performance from Jeff McCreech. Uh, Doug's coming down to ringside again as he did uh, as his father to join in the celebrations. There were several moments there in the final few seconds. Must have been about four, maybe five times where the ropes appeared to keep Ryan upright. Yes, he did. He rocked, rocked back badly against the ropes with his hands down, was caught with good shots, and it really did just seem the ropes just kept him, kept him in the fight, and he had to take a lot more punches. If the ropes hadn't been there, he'd have most certainly been down a couple of times. There, a big shot, he just sits back under the ropes, but that really knocked the head back. And I think the referee could have jumped in there. It was certainly, Ryan was well out of the contest at that point. I think Larry O'Connor was trying to give him every chance, but there again, the ropes kept him up. Very accurate, McCreech, wasn't he? Very accurate, almost touching down again there, Ryan. This is where he's cut. And McCreese then gets in for the finish. Just a jab there, and you see the legs went straight away. Again, he didn't quite go down, but at that point, Larry O'Connell decided he'd seen enough and waved it over. There's the jab, really buckled the legs there, and a big right hand. And that was the right time to stop it. It's quite a story, this Jeff McCreese story. A fighter who just seemed to be not much more than a journeyman who's turned his career right around. And I'm sure there'll be talk now of maybe even pitching him towards a world title opportunity. You never know. Well, it really would be a wonderful story if he got a shot at a world title. Stranger things have happened. Ladies and gentlemen, after 1 minute 17 seconds of the second round, the referee Larry O'Connell stops the contest. Paul Strapan Ryan in no position to continue. The winner and still well away champion of Great Britain, Jeff McCreech. The president of the British Boxing Board of Control will now presents the championship belt. One more win, and McCreech will have the Lonsdale belt to keep. Three wins gets you that belt to take home. And I wonder if that really is the end of the Paul Scrap Iron Ryan story. I think, sadly, it may be. It well could be. I know he'd be very, very disappointed that he didn't do better. He really just didn't get into the fight and didn't get his, his punches going, but I think it was down to McCreech's performance, and he started with such good jabs, and he just never allowed Ryan into the fight.